Hi everyone! My name is Lilius, and on today's episode of My Sci on the Move, we are going to talk about bubbles. So, do we think that bubbles are just fun? Or do you think that there's some science behind them? We're going to find out today. So, what are bubbles made out of? Usually, when we think about bubbles, we think of soap and water, right? But not all bubbles are made out of soap and water. We can make bubbles with all kinds of liquids. Who has ever made bubbles in chocolate milk? Am I right? So are bubbles always round? They are, right? Because I'm using a square-shaped bubble wand and the bubbles are still rounded. This is because of surface tension. The molecules on the surface of a liquid create a strong but thin layer on top. This layer allows bubbles to stay in their shape, water droplets to stay together, and certain bugs walk on water. I clearly had a lot of fun with these bubbles, but now let's look at a way that you can try this at home. All you need is a penny and a couple drops of water. Lay the penny down on a flat surface. Now slowly start adding drops of water on top of the penny. Try viewing the penny from a couple different angles. What do you notice about the water? Instead of flowing over the side of the penny, the water clings to the edges of the penny and grows taller. This droplet forming on the top is all possible because of surface tension. Pretty cool, right? Now we're going to hear from Bob Thirsk, a NASA flight engineer. He's going to talk about how surface tension works in space. Take it away, Bob. Here in space, surface tension is critically important even for something as simple as getting a drink of water. Molecules at the surface of a liquid experience unbalanced molecular forces. Since they are on the boundary, the molecules are attracted from inside, but not from the outside. This causes the surface to behave like a stretched elastic membrane. These intermolecular forces are like tiny springs, connecting all the H2O molecules. If this sphere of water is stretched slightly in one direction, the tiny springs pull it back to the original direction. Stretched? 